Hey Scorpio, this is Moon Pie. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your love reading for the next 10 days. Please be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. All right, you guys, let's get started. Scorpios, how are you? Let's see what your love messages are before we start the reading. Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay. Okay, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, reconciliation is coming. Okay, someone from your past is returning to your life, Scorpio. And it is safe for you to love. Oh, these are beautiful cards. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, you've got somebody here, Scorpio, who has very uh, strong romantic feelings for you. They want to explore those feelings with you. They want to... Um, be a part of your life either you know well it's reconciliation so uh come back to you it feels come back or uh reconnect with you um let's see this person feels like you are a safe person um for them to open their heart they want to give you all of the love that they have okay very beautiful scorpio let's take a look and see what the other messages are for this person whom you may be connecting with currently or um, you may not be and they could be coming back next 10 days okay so yeah uh, this person <laughs> i feel like they they think that you uh disappeared on them or you ghosted them um they definitely i'm seeing communication they want to know what you're doing where you are what's going on with you okay oh you're wow this, this person feels like you are a wish come true for them. They're stalking you. They're looking for you. I don't know if you guys... <laughs> I mean, there's reconciliation. So maybe you weren't in communication with each other or haven't been. Okay? Or somebody disappeared. Okay? They're not letting you go. Next 10 days. Mm -hmm. You're going to be getting... They're going to initiate some type of communication with you within the next 10 days. Okay? No more blocks. Coming out with the truth. Coming out with the truth. Let's see. What else is going on here? They want to tell you something. I'm going to clarify, actually. I want to know what they want to tell you. What do they have to say to you? I feel like this person is just not letting you go. They are watching you. They're spying on you. They're seeking you. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Three of swords in the reverse. So... I don't know if you heard that notification, but there's your sign. Um, three of Swords in the reverse with this person. It feels to me like they want to bring that healing. They want to recover this connection. I feel like um, there may have been a loss. They want to come in and apologize to you for something. Um, yep, that's what they're going to communicate with you. They feel hurt. They feel lost without you. Um, apologize for breaking your heart. Apologize for a third party. Um, if there was any cheating or anything like that, let's take a look. Okay, Hierophant, Taurus. For some of you, could be connecting with a Taurus, for sure. Or a Gemini, the Magician. Oh yeah, definitely going to be reaching out to you. Oh my goodness. Eight of Wands, coming in fast. This person misses you. Oh my gosh, they're feeling completely lost without you right now. This person wants to manifest a new start with you. They want to come back into your life here. The Hierophant is, you know, full on commitment. Come into this institution of marriage or, you know, um, just follow through. They want to, it feels like, meet your expectations and the things that you re require or uh, they want to conform they want to be with you. They want to connect with you. My goodness, what's going on here? Let's take a look at this Hierophant. What's going on with this Hierophant? Remember, this is the next 10 days. So I think this may go through um, November 3rd, I think, for some. It really just is when you click on the video, you guys. Whenever you see this video and you click on it, it's 10 days going forward. All right, let me see. Okay, the full Aquarian energy. This person wants to take a risk. They're ready. They can jump off that cliff for you. If if you say if they say jump, you say or if, if you say jump, they'll say how high. They don't even care about the consequences. This look, 
page of cups here. So I would definitely have to say, I mean, this person is going to initiate communication with you for sure in the next 10 days, overcome some conflict. They want to cut away <clears throat> all the cancer out of the connection. Maybe some of you connecting with the cancer. They want to cut away and um, remove all the bad stuff and heal this connection. Um, hoping maybe that you will forgive them. This person's in a really... Uh, they're feeling very sorrowful. They're, they're feeling like they've lost you. They feel a sense of um, grief. Um, they feel like you've abandoned them or you don't love them anymore. There's a sense of regret for the things that maybe happened in the past. Let's see, the magician. So this is very focused energy. This person wants to turn um, any fantasies or visions like into reality here with you. <clears throat> okay. The star in the reverse. I mean, this this person, it just feels like they're like they're really depressed. There's a sense of depression. They feel depressed without you. Um, they feel like you're ignoring them and they don't want you to ignore them. Okay? We have double Aquarius here, so you definitely could be connecting with Aquarius. But this person, you know, they're trying to renew that hope. They're hoping, they want to renew this connection here with you, Scorpio. Let's see what the love messages are. I mean, I feel like this person is just seeking you out like a heat seeking missile. They're going to find you and find a way to connect with you. I don't know if you, you have this person blocked. Or if you guys like did that whole blocking thing, um, you're going to find a way in and around to get a hold of you, to get to have some type of contact with you. They're looking for you. You may get a sweet love message from them. Uh, something like, I miss you. I love you. I want to see you. Um, that kind of thing. Let's take a look and see what the love messages are. Okay, release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Hmm. Okay. This just feels like this person is like surrendering to the to the love, to the connection. Maybe they were fighting it off before. They just weren't, something was going on. There might have been another person involved. They're releasing that person to come back and heal things with you. There might have been an addiction connected to this person. Um, that might that might have been the third party, okay? They, maybe they had a drug or alcohol addiction or something, something going on with them. Maybe some codependency. Um, some of you just had to pull away from this person. You just weren't able, you just were like, no, it's too much. It's overwhelming, um, whenever it might have been. You feel like this person is releasing uh, some kind of, oh, it just feels like some kind of a burden, releasing anxiety. Um, releasing feeling stuck, that this person was stuck in something. Okay, let's see. And retreat time alone or in nature will help you re recharge um i feel like maybe both of you were in some kind of connection where it felt extremely like addictive and it took a toll on the relationship and somebody pulled out or you both pulled out or just pulled back the energy because it was overwhelming so much passion um, a lot of stalking a lot of jealousy obsessiveness that kind of stuff going on um maybe some greed <clears throat> This feels like there's strong sexual lust, obsession. <clears throat> You're my obsession. Who do you want me to be to make you sleep with me? You might have had somebody you were connecting with that was like trying to be something that they weren't, put, put themselves to lure you in, um, that kind of thing through sexual lust or behaviors or things like that. For some of you, it may just felt like a fraud. This person may have felt like a fraud. At some point, you pulled away. Now, for some of you, <laughs> you may just still feel that way, and you may just not want to reconcile with this person. But, you know, I mean, I feel like this person is releasing something, okay, and definitely surrendering. But it almost is coming across to me as like for you to be forewarned that um, even though somebody's coming back in and putting all their energy um, towards you, they may not fully be, they may still have an uh, undercover addiction to you, Scorpio. So you may need to be careful. Some of you may just be deciding to stay retreating from this person. Hmm. 
can trust. It's safe to trust in this situation. And I feel like for you, Scorpio, trust your intuition with this. Whatever your intuition tells you, whatever your first inclination is, um, you know, if somebody's dealing with addiction or they have some like serious issues going on, um, and you guys separated, you know, it, it's what it's what this person has done with the time that you were in separation. Okay, not how long you have been in separation. That doesn't matter. It's what matters is okay when you guys were separated. What did you both do? Did did you go in and get some healing? Did you like have a new outlook on things? Did this person re really work hard to release things? I mean, that's what I feel like your message is here. All right, Moonology. What do you need to release? All right, Scorpio. Some of you are maybe. Maybe you separated from this person. Maybe you had a hard time letting go of this person because there might have been, maybe there was some drinking or drug addiction or sex addiction or something along those lines. Um, perhaps a relationship, it just, for some, just turned out to be a fraud, like a fraudulent relationship, something maybe you don't want anymore. You're not going in that direction. But despite all that, I feel like this person is seeking you out. Like I said, a heat-seeking missile coming to get you. They, they want to be with you. I don't know. I'm just getting this energy. Scorpio, run. Run, Forrest, run. I don't know what's going on here. Let's see what other messages there are for you. And then pull a couple of charms to see. Okay. A loan is offered. All right. Somebody might be offering their heart or putting themselves on loan to you. Wow. I feel like this person's really obsessed with you. My goodness. Okay. But the struggle is over. Scorpio, I feel like a lot of you are, yeah, I mean, you got a couple of messages here that it's safe to trust in the situation. It's safe for you to love. I feel like this person feels like it's safe. It's safe for you to trust in the situation, but what is the situation here for you? You Can you trust that this person hasn't changed or can you trust that they have? You, you have a big decision you need to make here. I feel like it was a real struggle and this person coming back into your life might be um, not something you want to do. It might be something you want to give somebody another chance just to see. Okay, twin soul, that's twice. Communicate your love to the divine. Be thankful for this twin soul love. You've been chosen for one another. Even when times are tough and seem back and forth, this love is meant to be. It's time to reconcile. Okay, so I do feel, you know, you guys have a lot of stuff going on here in the next 10 days this person is coming to get you they want to be with you and they will express their love to you they do have romantic feelings for you and i feel like it does feel like this might be a twin flame or a soulmate connection it hasn't been easy but um i'm definitely seeing reconciliation here all right let me get your charms okay so you have the eiffel tower okay some of you might live in France, maybe you're in Paris, Paris, Texas, um, something, the Eiffel Tower seems to be uh, very significant. Okay, so we have a broom. Some of you are jumping the broom. Are you going to get married? You're going to, like, this person is going to jump the broom? What the heck? Um, I don't know if you know what that term means, but you can look it up. It just basically means... Um, you know, gonna just gonna do it, gonna cross over um, into marriage of some sort of commitment. There's also a guitar. Oh no, is this a guitar? No, this is a bass. Okay, this is a bass instrument. Okay, maybe somebody plays bass. Uh, maybe somebody fishes and catches bass fish. <laughs> Something to do here with a bass. Uh, stands on the street corner, plays music. Maybe you do that or you play a bass or your person does so there's like a musical instrument connected and then there's also a silver heart here so there might be like a gift that's given um i'm just seeing also a silver heart uh maybe somebody has a heart tattoo or a silver heart neon light they just showed me like a flashing silver heart neon light maybe you'll see that or you're seeing that as you're walking past a place um there's a lot of love coming in here, Scorpio, so you have some decisions I guess you're going to have to make. I mean, I'm not really feeling like, I'm not really seeing a decision. I just feel like somebody wants to come back into your life 
and heal this relationship. What you choose to do with that is up to you, but I feel like this person's really grieving. Um, there may be travel connected to this. A lot of communication coming from this person, like nonstop, I love you, I love you, I miss you, I miss you. I want to be like obsessive texting and communication like that. So yeah, that's going to be your reading. If you guys want to get a personal reading, again, there's a link in the description box below. Please do hit that link. That'll take you right to my booking site. You can book your reading right away. Um, and do hit like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.